Motors D15 dead stock, D15, single weight cam, 16 valve. It's what fitted the best in there. It's what fitted the easiest without cutting much, without <laughs> too much modification. Absolutely, absolutely. But then you need, the, but then you start talking about fuel pressure, different uh, uh, stuff in the tank, and, and, and fuel pumps, and management system, and all that, that. And I didn't want any of that. I wanted to get in, start it, and go. <laughs> and you have to cut the side of the chassis legs and cut the cross member. A lot. This one's trimmed. Trimmed. You don't notice because it's, it's pretty well done, pretty neat. But you have to cut a lot. Huh? Quite a lot for the B16. And then you have to cut the firewall on the B16 because the manif intake manifold doesn't fit. Does not fit. Guys have tried. So you have to chop a lot there. And on the D15 or D16 single of eight cams, you don't. It fills it up, man. That B16 is very broad, man. Very, very broad. It's got, got the dyno sheet. What is it? <laughs> 70, 76 kilowatts on the wheels. <laughs> 140 newton meters. <laughs> it's, it's, it's strong, strong enough for what it is. It's a Weber Fortis with a very small, I can't remember what the size of the, the jets are, but they're very small because the motor is stock. And the thing is, when Mark Fry at SV Tech, he did the conversion, um, he says that the heads on these Hondas flow very well. So I shouldn't touch anything on the head. All he did was port match the, the manifold and the correct uh, um, jets on the carbs, and it's, it's running well. Left about just over 7,000, eh? <laughs> just over <laughs> but then it feels like things are <laughs> getting too wetly in there <laughs> it's, it's 44 years old eh? <laughs> This is going to be your car one day. You're a Honda fan? Yes. What's your favourite Honda engine? The one that Padding was putting in the money. What's that? B16, I think. That's it. <laughs> From the D15, standard 5 speed. So you want box? Box, engine, engine drop. dropped it in. Yeah. With, with the carbs or without? Just the engine and box. With the carbs, the way it's there. About 25. And about 12 without the labor, eh? About 12, yeah. Carbs are expensive, eh? I know five, myself personally. And you have two? And I've got two of them, yeah. I don't know of any others, I haven't seen any others. And they're all in Gauteng, and all five were in Pretoria, at, up until the last two years. <laughs> Strangely enough. Yes, there's a lot of rest, it's a popular color. And in America, in the States, the yellow was popular, and this one's from the States, and it's yellow. Wheeler dealers did the yellow one. 
I found the car. A friend of mine sent me a, a, a screenshot of an ad on Facebook, and the car was out in Boxburg. No, it was a one-owner car since new, believe it or not, American gentleman that passed away. And the guy that bought it, bought it from the estate, and it had no boat and no box. <laughs> and he didn't know what to do with it. He just bought it because he liked it. <laughs> and he didn't know what to do with it, and all that. He's like, so he advertised it. And within the space of 30 minutes, I must have had three or four guys sending me the screenshot of this ad. So needless to say, Friday night I was at this guy's door, and Sunday I was driving the car home. <laughs> driving. <laughs> Bodywork is as I bought it, except for the wheels. And compressed springs, original springs. And the chin spoiler? Oh yeah, and the chin spoiler, sorry, I added it. Golf cheat, yeah. stock and dead original. I've, I've done nothing to it. As it came out of the factory in 76. No. Why? I don't want to touch it. I want to leave it. I want, I want to leave whatever patina is on there. Some of the paintwork is not original anymore, but I don't want to touch it. I'll, I'll keep on improving on the, on the mechanicals. That's a given. Because I want to, if I want to get in it and drive it and go, it must start it in this guy. <laughs> so I'll keep on, I'll try and improve on that. Yeah. Maybe brakes next or something. Brakes are pretty crap. No, but they, they, they're pretty crap. The discs are, you know, <laughs> tiny. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> but you need an anchor. Throw an anchor out. <laughs> so what is the weight? 600 and something kilos. Yes. <laughs> 660, maybe something like that. Very light. <laughs> Lighter than a Golf 1. <laughs> it's very light. <laughs> Extremely. So, so I first started with a cheap set of wheels for 100 because it's because it's way more popular all right because the pcd on this car is a 4106 or 4108 it's, it's a peculiar pcd you know the bolts are very wide apart and you, you don't get anything for the car so at the back was fairly easy because your drums on your lax line ballads or your any any ballad from about 84 to 2000 okay your uh, drums or your, or your hubs are basically the same. So all I did at the back was change the, the drum, took out the old drums, put the new drums, and that's already 4100. On the front, I made some spaces. Okay, that bolt on, okay? And then the, obviously on the outside, it's 4100. I'm thinking of putting a proper exhaust system on it, but that's going to be it for now. Eh? No risk. Not yet. <laughs> I'll see if I get bored. <laughs> I'll see if I get bored. <laughs> But yeah, nice proper exhaust.